Hey everybody, this is Joanne from Texas coming to you from my kitchen again. Uh, I was up point eight today. Don't know why, but that's just the way it is. Uh, so that puts me back at 14.6. Uh, my body really likes this weight. It doesn't want to go any further. And when it does start to go further, it goes back up. Oh well. Uh, so far I've had an apple today, and I had some, um, chicken breast that, um, I sliced really thin, almost kind of like a, a deli meat, and rolled it up and weighed it uh, for 100 grams. And uh, next time I'm at, uh, I think it's Walmart, they have uh, low sodium um, um, like 97% chicken breast in the deli. And uh, my first go round uh, back in 2010, uh, that's what I used to eat for lunch. I used to eat, uh, it comes out to about five slices. Um, the deli will cut your meat thin enough where it equals to um, 3.5 ounces or four or four ounces, whichever you want to go with and put a piece of parchment in between it and then do the next. And so all you have to do is in between each parchment is the exact amount of uh, the deli lunch meat that you need and um, it, it works out perfect. And I used to eat that and Melba's and cucumber uh, for lunch every day and uh, you know, I lost 50 pounds on my first two rounds. So. Um, did really well back in 2010 uh, on my um, deli lunch meat. And I also used to do the deli lunch meat uh, turkey. So um, anyway, next time I go to Walmart, because they're the only ones that I know of that has the um, very low sodium. Uh, and I think that's what gets you in the deli meat is the preservatives and all that and this has uh, none of that it's pretty much just chicken breast sliced anyway um, like I said I had the chicken and I had the cucumber and I got some of that new pear bals uh, white balsamic um, Walden Farms dressing and it is so good. I sprinkled just a tiny bit on the cucumbers and it was it was really good. Um, drinking my water and uh, went down a couple points in fat and I'm in uh, this morning I hit uh, 44%. Um, which is still a lot, but when I started, I was, you know, in in the very high 50s, 50% uh, 50 fat. So, that's pretty bad when my body was 50% fat. So, it's coming down, so I know that I'm still losing something. And, uh, you know, that always makes you feel better when you don't see the poundage on the... Um, um, scale and my BMR, BMI, BMR, BMI, BMI, uh, was, um, 35 something, I think. And as soon as I hit, uh, I think, is it 30, I'll be obese woohoo instead of severely obese that will be something uh 
non-scale victory uh, I'm fitting uh, two sizes down in my ring size um, so that's cool um, that means mama got to go out and buy her a new ring oh, sorry <laughs> uh, I guess that's it. Nothing else. Pretty boring here. Drinking my water, getting my water in. Still no little bones yet, but I can feel my bones here too. And this is not as big. So I can definitely see. Uh, and see when I get hot, my chest gets red. <laughs> and my little face gets red. Um, I guess that's it. Everything else is, uh, is going. So, um, for supper tonight, I'm going to have the cabbage and ground beef again. Because uh, I made a whole, uh, skillet full. And I've probably got about two more servings of it, so I'll probably eat it for lunch tomorrow, too. All right. Well, I am going to go. I guess that's it. Um, the only other thing, you know, I love my kitchen gadgets. The only other thing that I got uh, new I uh, found at uh, the Salvation Army. <laughs> love my finds at the Salvation Army and it was brand new and I got it for for 10 bucks which might have been too high but since it was brand new I thought it was a good deal because I mean I just saw this uh, something like this on you know my favorite place QVC and it was like 40 bucks so anyway it is a little baby deep fryer Isn't it cute? Deep fryer for one. That means me. So, um, when I make my um, donuts uh, out of my coconut flour, I could maybe uh, fry them in a little bit of um, oil. And uh, my homemade... Uh, mozzarella sticks I could uh, deep fry in there so um, and I really would try deep frying in in the coconut oil uh, just as long as I keep it on low uh, I think you once you get it up to a certain point it starts to smoke so um, I would keep it very low uh, anyway I guess that's it, it for me and I will talk to y'all tomorrow all right, bye.